A CBS2 investigation has found nearly four dozen hospitals have closed across New York State since 2000. The legal challenge has delayed the closure of Beth Israel, which had been slated for last week. CBS2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas shows us how the impending closure is already affecting New Yorkers. Dustin Jones is a former patient at Beth Israel Hospital who is closing one door and opening another. He's headed to his first appointment with a new doctor as Mount Sinai Health System plans to close Beth Israel. Do I want to go to Brooklyn? No, not really, but at this point, I don't really have a choice. Because I don't know what's going to happen with Beth Israel, I decided about uh, two weeks ago to switch my doctor. Jones lives in Midtown and used to push his wheelchair to Beth Israel, but at the moment he can't find any doctors that meet his needs closer than Cobble Hill. About an hour away on public transit on a good day. Because everybody either they're not accepting new patients or they don't have everything that is critical for me and what I need. Records from the New York State Nurses Association and the State Health Department show at least 42 other hospitals have closed across the Empire State since 2000. But New York oh, health gotcha. officials contend some of those areas, although they wouldn't say which, may have also had new hospitals right. open. Mount Sinai says it's investing in existing facilities to create a, quote, continuity of care for downtown residents after Beth Israel closes. But for months, patients and staff have fought the plan to shutter the 500-bed hospital, arguing it would devastate the East Village, including Arthur Schwartz, who suffered a heart attack in 2017 and was treated less than an hour later. I feel like this hospital being here saved my own life. He's also the lead attorney on a lawsuit claiming Mount Sinai is violating state laws by closing Beth Israel and already stopping some services. It's an intentional action by Mount Sinai's CEO because the property that this hospital sits on is extremely valuable real estate. They want to sell this property for real estate development. Mount Sinai declined our interview request, but sent CBS2 a statement denying those claims. Hospital leaders sent a closure plan to the state earlier this year describing insurmountable financial losses. One of the reasons listed is a common complaint from financially struggling health care providers, Medicaid not paying enough. A recent report from the Urban Institute found Medicaid reimburses New York community health centers about 70 percent of the cost of care. Is that sufficient? Absolutely not. Dr. Torian Easterling says it's not enough, even after the state increased Medicaid reimbursement rates last year. Easterling works with One Brooklyn Health, which now runs Interfaith, Kingsbrook, and Brookdale, hospitals that merge due to financial struggles. The state and the federal government, we really need to figure out a solution to ensure that folks have the health coverage that they need, and those resources are going to shore up uh, the facilities that are providing those services. Another hospital at risk of closing, SUNY Downstate here in Brooklyn. An advisory board is now working on recommendations on how the state should handle the financially struggling medical center. The report is due next year. I don't know who, maybe it's the mayor, maybe it's the governor, some politicians. More should be done to make sure that hospitals are in a better state so that way they don't have these problems. In Brooklyn, Jones finishes his new commute on a bus, only to find a truck blocking the stop outside the hospital, leaving no space to extend the wheelchair ramp. So he rides to the next stop, nearly half a mile away, then pushes his wheelchair back to the hospital. Two morons parked at a bus stop right. can set me or anybody else in this situation back. He makes it through that new door, just barely in time for the appointment, hoping for an easier journey back to Manhattan. The state health department would not agree to an interview with us, but a spokesperson did send us an email saying the governor included a $37 billion Medicaid investment in her 2025 budget, all in an effort to help safety net health care. Christina Maurice, we will see the kind of impact that may have. That we will. So at this point, Tim, what is delaying the closure of Beth Israel? Sure. So Mount Sinai now says they want to close as quickly as possible. But the closure date, they say it really depends on the decisions from the state and that ongoing legal battle at this point. The situation with Daniel Jones is just heartbreaking, and you can imagine how many other patients are affected by this, Tim. Yeah, Thank definitely. you for bringing that. Tough to cover and tough to see.
Certainly. Thanks for your report, Tim. And if you have a story for Tim and the investigative team, just email them at cbs2investigates at cbs.com or give us the number, the number, or rather a call that you see at the number there on your screen. All right.